Here I stand in front of this badass banyan tree in South Florida, United States. Um, and I have one of my paintings hanging in front of it. The painting is called Creating Culture. The banyan tree, by the way, is uh, the national tree of India. And that's where it's native to India. But they grow all along Florida and in Georgia and other places down here. And uh, I just think they're really cool, and I thought this was a cool spot to hang my work. And my name is Jordan Cohen, and welcome to Hanging Around America with Jordan Cohen. And there goes my reading glasses. But I wanted to do this um, banyan tree hanging today. Um, they're such cool trees, and um, actually the largest one in the U.S., is uh, hang is in is in Fort Myers, Florida, at the Edison and Ford Winter Estate, uh, and it's uh, 84 feet tall and 376 inches in diameter, and Edison meaning Thomas Edison. I guess that's where his uh, winter home was or whatever. But uh, I have this painting called Creating Culture, and I wanted to. Uh, Hang my paintings in different spots, seeing how it affects the energy, how the energy affects it, how it, um, and how they relate to what's going on around them, and and what kind of reaction um, people have. So if you have any comments on this video, feel free to put them below. And I got a bunch of work that I've hung here. Um, Another thing about the banyan tree, it's considered immortal, which is kind of cool. In, uh, in Indian culture and in Hindu culture, it's an integral to, uh, part of their belief system. And uh, it has a lot of powers, including uh, fulfilling witches. It's, uh, I didn't know that. Uh, I found that out, and I found that out after I decided to uh, hang these paintings here. And uh, speaking of fulfilling wishes, here's um, a painting called Fertility. And it's uh, acrylic, it's on wood, and I cut the wood. It's kind of a, a different approach I've done. And I try to change up my approaches every time when I'm painting. Um, and, uh, and all my paintings, nothing's drawn out. There's no pre-design. Everything's just hand-painted straight up. Um, and what and my way of, of creating art is uh, is what I call the water method or water approach method. It's something I've developed over a bunch of decades of time. And I know I'm super young looking and super gorgeous looking. I know all that, but I'm actually an old motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, did I say no curse words? No curse words. But uh, here's some more. Um, now, I used to be a tattoo artist in South Beach, and there's a lot of skateboarding going on, and there's a lot of beach culture. And, uh, and these two skateboards are what I call, when they're together, I call them culture stamp. So it's interesting, I got a painting on the other side of the banyan tree called Creating Culture, and then on this side, this is called Culture Stamp. Um, those are 357 Magnum bullets. It's live ammunition lining each of these. Uh, I guess they're kind of leather, leathery fabric lined shadow boxes that these skateboards are put into. And they're used boards. They got miles on them. So let's take a look at this one a little closer. Like I said, I used to be a tattoo artist, so you get the kind of that. But again, everything's just hand painted. Nothing's drawn out ahead of time. There's no pre-design going on. Uh, the only time I really pre-designed any of my work is when uh, I'm doing these really intense, high-intensity ballpoint pen drawings. Um, and uh, taking this my reading glasses again. You can take my uh, if you Google a search. Uh, cool Jordan 88 all lowercase all one word cool Jordan 88 
you'll find a bunch of my other work on there and some of my music videos, etc., etc. And uh, but one thing about the water method that I wanted to mention is it's really um, it's really about creating original content. Um, I can't stress what original means. Original means original. Uh, unique means there's nothing else like it. Um, so I'm not referencing, you know, if I was doing sugar skulls, that wouldn't be original. That would be a sugar skull that's been done a million times. And I'm sure I could do a really cool one, and I'm sure lots of people do that. But that's just an example. Nothing against sugar skulls. But so creating original content means original. I can't stress enough what original means. Original means original okay it doesn't mean taking a theme and trying to do something creative you know uh, to creatively try to create it doesn't mean that it means being original so this other painting here I got I thought this is a cool spot for this one this was called invitation and when I started painting this one there was again uh, there was no pre-design I didn't realize I was gonna do any eyes or anything like that um, but it's kind of a cool spot for this banyan tree here. And uh, this is what I call hanging around America. And again, I'm in the North Shore Park in Miami Beach in Florida. And here's back to creating culture. I just finished this one the other day. I just stretched it last night. Last week I was in Miami Gordon Gardens and I had a couple paintings called Espiritu and Bam Boom that I had hung at the old boathouse there um, at Grenells Park. And I'm gonna be going to different places around the state of Florida and hopefully around the country and uh, maybe even around the world and I got some really really huge paintings that are going to require some cranes and etc etc to hang but these are just pretty simple simple setup of uh, some paintings and this is called creating culture Again, just what I call free painting or just a water approach method. And we got, we got the guys here making sure I'm not crazy. Although I probably am a little bit. And I'm just going to walk around this tree again. This banyan tree is so cool. Um... And again, the banyan tree is native to India, and it's their national tree. But uh, you find them all the time down here in Florida and in Georgia and along the highway. Sometimes when you're driving along state routes, etc., you see them everywhere uh, with these roots hanging down. Uh, they're super cool looking. It kind of looks like a tropical rainforest all in itself. And... Uh, and I didn't realize that, you know, in India, it, it, uh, in Hindu culture, it, you know, it's like fulfills wishes. It's, uh, it's, it's considered immortal. And I didn't realize, I just, I just thought this was a really cool and special tree, especially this one here in the park. It's the largest one I've seen here in this park. And I wanted to make this quick little video showing what this tree's about. Anyways, and my art and the water approach method. So, uh, thanks for watching this silly little video, everybody. My name is Jordan Cohen, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot, everybody, and have a good one.